Hello all! It's Terhi Koskinen here and I'm super thrilled to be here at Scrapbook Workstat to share my little mixed media mini book I made. I'm using uh, Wikipedia, all the good things line for this mini book and I started to call <laughs> I started all the project with these little frames and the dream word which were lying on my work table and I had an idea that I will use these little old frames for a mini book because these are so teeny tiny that you'll never have the actual photograph to put inside them so I decided that they could be a fun layer behind the photographs and as these are only made from white cardstock I decided that I'm not going to paint them because it would be a bit hard tricky even so I added just embossing powder this is a uh, silver glitter I think um, and it will give a bit thickness for the frames and also a beautiful shimmering look which I adore and it will go perfectly together with the wiki pudding uh, papers and em embellishments because they are so matte and there's nothing shiny about them so this will be the balancing effect for them um, my plan is to make a couple of tags which will be the pages for the mini book I'm playing with the favorite papers I chose from the line um, and I want to have them a bit thicker and I also want to have them uh, wide from the other side to kind of um, calm down to a whole mini book so I'm just using double-sided tape and then adhering the patterned paper on top of the white cardstock and then I'm going to use the simple die, tag shape die, uh, which is super duper old. I have no idea where I got it and when. It's, it's been like years and years. But anyway, uh, I decided to use a couple of these dies and then just cut the whole thing with my little um, mini blossom cutting machine I got from Altenew. And that's it. The first sample wasn't that good because um, I should have added <laughs> a little more paper between to make sure it will cut it all, but you will get the message right. Just cut some bags and if you don't have the kind of uh, dies, then just cut it by your hand, it will go be good. Uh, once I was happy with all the pages, I decided that I will add something similar for each page and in this project the similar thing will be texture paste which is from Heidi Swap and I love it it's pink it's gorgeous it's shiny and yeah I do love it uh, this is the pink I think not rose it's pink anyway uh, the stencil is also super duper old from American Crafts. I think it was some older Amy Tangerine uh, collection, if I remember right. Anyway, uh, the idea is just to have a similar thing on each page. And it will balance, it will calm down these um, papers and it will make it look the same on uh, each page and focus your uh, eye <laughs> to the photograph and I kind of like that there's something similar and something different on each page when I'm going through a mini book and as you can see I'm not adding the texture paste on the same spot of each page I'm adding it some for the left side, some for up and some for down and that way it will be fun. It will make something to uh, catch a detail here and there and it will be wonderful. Once I'm happy with all the stenciling, 
I'm of course cleaning my tools and putting <laughs> the cork on top of the texture paste tube because that's something that I could forget. I have forget and it was not a good idea because the paste was so dry the next morning. Anyway, uh, I decided that uh, I want to have some embellishments and again matching embellishments. And I couldn't resist the fussy cut all these flowers from the one of the papers which had, has had all these flowers. These are so amazing. And as said, I fussy cut them. And my use of scissors is not necessarily that perfect always. And I'm forgiving that for myself and using this black fat 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 marker um, to color the edges. Of course you could use ink, you could use any black ink or well black because they had black details uh, already on the flowers. But I'm going through all the edges to make sure that they are looking good and my little mistakes with the cutting are we hide it so it's it um, but here you can see that I'm collecting everything together what I'm going to use when I'm starting to um, make the pages complete I always want to have everything uh, in front of my eye the photographs the frames the embellishments here are the flowers and this little butterfly. I'm going to do the same blacking for the butterfly so it will look a bit better than with the white edges. But well, that's my opinion and of course you can use it with white. But I want to have a little contrast for the book. As you can see everything is so light. The papers I chose are quite light even though they are fabulous. I absolutely love them. All the pink and the flower patterns and the teal green and the turquoise. I absolutely love this collection. But I want to have a little bit of contrast. So I am having everything uh, in front of me and then I'm starting to think that how will I add this all together. I have some of the papers here and I'm going to make a little bit of scraps because you will always have to want a little layering behind the photographs right um, and as I said about having a little something similar on the pages but a little something different on the pages this goes with the paper layers too I'm going to mix these similar patterned papers that I have um, on the background of each tag but I'm going to mix like the stripe one will be a background for the photo on the turquoise one and the flower one will be the background for the photograph in the striped one and this how I will play all through the mini book. It will be the one thing that you probably won't think but it will be also the one thing that I'm thinking when I'm looking at the book and that's the most important thing because if you are crafting, you are probably crafting for yourself and for your own pleasure, right? At least I am. So you can do whatever pleases you the most. So I'm making... Um, by the way, if you are curious about these photographs, they are all the same. That's my... Um, first, not first, well the youngest dog and she was so gorgeous with that little tired look but happy look that um, the photograph was a success I think so I want to print it four times and make a mini book because the one little photograph was so amazing but before I attach the photographs I'm going to add a little bit of mists for the background, just to add some splashes here and there, not much as you can see, 
I'm staying on the areas that there is the texture, texture paste because that's the place that I'm going to adhere the photograph to. Uh, I'm going in with pink and then with this mint green. This is also the Haiti swap line. I will add the links to the blog post and underneath this video so you can see what I used. But now I'm thinking about, okay, how will I organize this? I don't want to add two similar pages next to each other and the stripe one will not be the first. Definitely not the first. And I also want to have the first one, um, first page only for the title and then the rest for the photographs. So I'm just adding a few paper layers, a triangle and then rectangle and maybe the frame, no, maybe more paper layers. And I'm going like this for all the pages. Ta-da! Simple as that. Um, but before attaching everything, I'm just planning everything first. And before attaching, I will add a bit of thread. Um, that's something I always do. I know it's almost annoying if you watch a lot of my videos or a lot of my scrapbook pages. I'm sorry, this tag is almost invisible now. Oh, better. Anyway, uh, but the thread will give some softness. Uh, soft? <laughs> is it softness? It, it will balance again. Uh, it will make the, a softer look for the page and also it will be a nice little detail for the page. Um, as I really adore the flowers from the Wikipotion paper, I decided that I'm not, I'm not going to waste any of the flowers. I also got it the ones from uh, the edges and I'm adding these um, half flowers the way like here that part of it it is underneath um, another f paper or some some way like that and it will look like there would be tons of flowers um, another trick with this mini book is that as the uh, photograph is the same in every single page you can play a lot with that photograph. You can cover it partly in some pages or you can uh, even draw on top, add the title on top, add the journaling on top because if you repeat the same photograph in each page it will make a lot more interesting for the whole book if you have something to play with there. Like here I added the bloom uh, partly on top of the photograph and I will do something not maybe similar but but kind of similar uh, ways with the next pages. But now I'm just making the title first and here we go. Nice little butterfly and the word cream um, and some blooms and before I'm attaching all these little pages together. I want to make sure that there is something shiny again and these little pearls will do the trick. Here you can see how I added uh, all the photographs. There's the frame on top of one and well the two of them are completely visible but maybe I'll add some journaling on top. So this mini book is really easy to do, even though it might look like Oh my god, that's so much work, but no it isn't. You'll just have these pages, these tags ready to go, some texture paste on top, some mist on top, and then some layering and the photographs. That's it. Super, super easy. And with the right products, of course, it's even easier, I think. Um, that's why I love to use one collection to each mini book because it's so super easy you don't have to think about if the colors match or if the products max match together you just can play 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 it's all about having fun right so once i'm ready with the pearls 
I'm saying thank you for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this one. Uh, at least I had so much fun making this and even more fun it is to hold in your hands and watch it. Oh my god, I'm so thrilled that I did this. So thank you Scrapbook folks that for sending me the products and like I said I will add the links below this video and thank you for watching. Bye!